Hey guys, it's PJ Bootstraps here, and welcome to how to make an RPG top-down tutorial part 1. Today we're going to learn how to create our character, so let's get started. Okay, so let's create a new project. We'll call it 2D top-down RPG tutorial. Okay, so select 2D, and let's create our project. Now that we have our project open, first we're going to import our sprites. I'm using Link sprites from Legend of Zelda. I'll put, put the download in the description just if you guys want to use it. First we're going to slice our sprites. So, so how to do that is, see in, where it says sprite mode to the right, it says single. If we go to sprite editor and try to slice our sprites, it won't let us slice because the mode is on single. It thinks it's just one sprite. And we want it to think that it can be multiple sprites. So we click the drop down arrow, uh, we click we just go to multiple, and now if we go to sprite editor, press apply, now it's letting us press slice, and here's a, here's settings that you can change on how you want to slice your sprites. We're not going to change anything, we're just going to press slice, and now all the sprites are sliced, and they're all equally sized. So we're going to name our sprites. So as you can see, I named all of these link sprites, uh, link right, link down, link up, just to make it easy if I need to search for them. Ignore the bottom part, I don't know why, it just came like that. Okay, so now we're going to press apply to apply all the changes we've made. Exit out. Now we're going to create an empty object. Create empty. We'll call it player. So now we're going to start scripting our player so it can move up, down, left, and right. It's pretty simple. So let's go to add component, type in movement, or call it whatever you want. And press new script and make sure it's C sharp we're coding in C sharp press create and add so now let's right click it and we'll click edit script and it'll open up mono develop at least that's what I use you might be using Visual Studio or something else but I use mono develop so once that opens okay so now that our script is opened let's start by creating our variables inspector variables Public float player speed equals ten. Speed is the speed player the player moves. See that see that I put public. That allows it. So if I save it and then go back to Unity, select our player. See how it says player speed, and we are we can manipulate the value. Since it's a float, it can go into decimal values. If you want it so you're not allowed to put decimal values, all you have to do is just change float to int. And that is pretty much the same thing except you can't add decimal values to it. So right now this doesn't do anything. We haven't we haven't done the we haven't coded the part where it can to make the character actually move yet. So that's what we're going to do. Let's replace this void and we'll call it void move forward okay if input dot get key up up as in for up arrow so basically if right now all we have is if we press the up unity has implemented it so if you just write up it'll detect that it is the, it means the arrow key so now if input key dot get up transform dot translate zero player speed times time dot delta delta time forgot to put the brackets there what this will do is if you press the up arrow key then they will translate up one thing I forgot to do is let's take our void up function right there and let's put it up above the move forward and inside it we'll call the move forward function so every time the game updates it'll call this move forward function it'll call this stuff right here I forgot to put this parentheses right here that's why I was having the arrow so now if we save mono develop and wait for it to load let's test it out so let's go to add component type in sprite render and see it's right here click sprite render and let's select our sprite. So we want it to start at link 
down one. That'll be his idle position. So let's select that, and now let's test it out. Yeah, he just went up really fast. Now we're going to apply this to the three other directions. Let's go back to model develop, and let's just copy this right here. Paste it three more times. So we'll change, we'll first change these to up, down, left, and right. Oh, let's delete this bra the brackets keys right there. So now for down, we're just going to set it so it does the opposite of player speed. So let's put a minus sign in here. So when we do down, instead of going up, it'll do the opposite of that. It'll just go down. Now for right, what we need to do, so what's happening right here is player speed is on the Y axis right now. What we want it to be is on the X axis. This is the X axis is zero. Y, y axis and then Z axis, which we're not going to use. So let's just make this simple. So we'll delete the zero and we'll add an extra zero at the end. And then we'll do the same thing here. There we go. And then what we need to do, since the right function, since this part allows it to go right, we'll just do the same thing we did with down. We'll make this player speed negative. So now if we save our code, let's zoom in our camera so we can see our character better. So now if we press play, he can move left, right, up, and down. And it looks nice and smooth. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll either be covering how to use Unity's new tile set maker, and it'll add collisions and stuff, or we'll be doing the animations, or it'll mix of both. We'll see. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.